Hello Isom Surf fans, I wanted to show you how we can use the great capability of the Pipette and the Pipette Plus in the Advanced Fillet menu and also in the Flange menu which we can use to interrogate existing fillets and flanges and then edit the parameters of those fillets and flanges. So um, it's, uh, it's really useful. Let's start with flange. So uh, go into the flange command. If I click on the original pipette, you see it says retrieve selected flange parameters. If I click on that, you'll see it's highlighting here. That I've got a flange at the back of my model. The flange is remembering its references and all the settings that you can find inside these tabs. So if I click on uh, the pipette, I can click on the flange and it populates, it makes all those choices to exactly copy the existing flange and that will allow me to put that onto another reference like so. So it's exactly the same as the original. So that's, uh, that's very good to get going, but that gets really exciting if you want to then edit the flange. So I can use the pipette plus and I can click. So it's now highlighting both of my flanges. I can pick, uh, I can pick this one here, for example, and then make a change. So I can change the length, change the angle and so on. So I'm going to get rid of that one there for now. So let's go ahead and I'm going to make a flange on this edge here. So go for flange this edge. Okay. Um, I want to make it a connect. So I'm going to connect it down to here like that and play with the angle just a smidge. There we go. Uh, make it uh, normal to the plane, the current plane. Very good. So there we go. So I've made uh, a flange on that front edge. Now I'm coming forward into fillets. It works in a very similar way. Uh, if I go into fillet plus, it's only fillet plus, by the way, we've got the pipette and the pipette plus. If I click on this, you see it's now highlighting this fillet at the back. So I can click on that and it will then populate uh, all the numbers, all the options um, that you can see in this uh, advanced fillet dialog box. And then I can go ahead and apply that here. So if I can say, let's go from here to uh, here there we go pop that in so this fillet has got exactly the same parameters as that one there we go what that means is now that this fillet remembers its references i could uh, make a change to these base surfaces so um, if i want to i can uh, modify the control points of the surface on the top here tweak the row normally like this, maybe a little bit more curvature like that. Okay. And now this, uh, as you can see, it's broken. It's made a, a break between all the surfaces. So what do we do? Well, I need to go into the flange here. I can use my pipette functionality, the pipette plus, I can pick this flange and it very quickly jumped back onto its reference. So that's okay. I'm happy about that. And then I can do the same with the fillet. So pipette plus, and click on this fillet, push OK, and it recalculates the fillet for me. Fantastic. So something to bear in mind with fillets is, as you know, we've got the auto face function here, the limitation in, the, in this command. If I change it to face at this point, let me just edit it in the first place. There we go. If I change that to face, press OK, of course, it's going to face back the uh, face back the, the surfaces, the base patches, as you can see. But now if I go into Philip Plus, you see what's going to happen. The, uh, the Pipette Plus doesn't work. It's because the references have actually changed. They've become faces. So this is a limitation of the Pipette Plus. So to get around that, I'm going to delete this, uh, this one here. I'm going to unface these two faces like so. So if I now pop in a new fillet like this, just keep the same parameters. I'm going to switch that to none. Just pop the fillet in there. Okay. Now if I face it back with a chain selection, let's go from here, my keyboard shortcut, you pick, it, pick the beginning and the end and it picks all of the chain there. And then face it back to here. Okay, so I face that back in a single and a secondary operation. 
if I go into the Philip Plus, you see again, it's not it's not highlighting in white for me. It's not recognizing um, that this is valid for picking, but I can unface and now things are a little different. So now if I go into Philip Plus, hit the pipette plus and you see it's uh, highlighting white again so I can click that that's now reactivated it and then I can make changes so let's make that 350 maybe make it uh, just a tangent fillet so I've shown you how since ISOMSERV 2022 fillets and flanges now remember their associated references and parameters and if the design intent changes you can quickly update those fillets and flanges through the pipette buttons saving lots of rework time. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.